Hey guys, I'm EP Guy here. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to model this little back-to-back -back lavatory setup. So we're gonna go over some of the basic techniques that I use to make this very quick and efficient. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select everything using a window selection. And then I'm just gonna deselect this fixture by holding shift and clicking and then hit delete and everything's gone. So now let's go ahead and start drawing some sanitary piping. So I'm gonna start by clicking this little fixture and you can see there's a lot of connectors going on. Now this is a custom fixture. It comes with my template and we'll go over that stuff later, but I'm gonna click on this create pipe button and that will essentially start drawing some piping. Now I can't just draw the piping over to the left like this because we need enough space to create a fitting because there wasn't enough space for it. So I'm gonna hit cancel. Let's try that again. Let's select our fixture and let's click on this create pipe button. And then before we start drawing piping, let's go ahead and drop it down to a different lower elevation. So I'm gonna go one space six for one foot six, hit enter. And then when I start drawing over, you can see I can kind of draw over to the left, just like that. We'll click escape. Now, one of the nice things about Revit is once I have this pipe drawn, I can actually move it wherever I want since there's only an elbow here. So if I wanna move it over this way, I can actually move it and that's kind of cool. But we wanna obviously move it into the wall back here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on it and drag it over. And you can see Revit will kind of snap when it gets to certain points. So let's try to snap it right here to the middle of this wall. So I'm gonna click and now it's at the midpoint of this wall. So that's kind of nice. So now let's start drawing the piping below the floor. So to do that, we're gonna right click on this little drag button and we'll hit draw pipe. And again, we have to change the elevation. So this time let's go to negative one foot. And now we're below the floor and I'm just gonna draw it off to this way and Rabbit will kind of snap for me when it's at 90 degrees and I'm gonna click and we're gonna hit escape. So that's looking pretty good so far. Now the one thing I'm missing is I need a P trap here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the pipe and we can just click the drop down here. And these are all in my routing preferences. And you can see that I already have this little P trap for two inch and smaller pipe. I'm gonna click on it and it automatically creates this P trap. Now, the last thing I need is I need to create some vent piping up so that this plumbing system can breathe. So I'm gonna click on this elbow and I'm gonna click on the plus, and you can see it automatically creates a sanitary T. Now you need a sanitary T in this instance because you cannot use a combination Y. And the reason why is because it's just not allowed by the plumbing code, but in all reality, it's because you wanna to try to avoid siphoning. Now, another problem with this right here is this is actually probably too close in the real world. You need to make sure you have at least two pipe diameters, but for our, purposes for modeling. We don't really worry about that stuff too much, but in the real world, you can't be this close. So anyway, I'm going to click on the fitting here and we're going to right click, draw a pipe, and I'm going to go ahead and start drawing piping up. Again, I can't just draw the piping up. I have to change the elevation. So let's change it to 10 foot and we'll go off to the right, just like this. And that's looking great. Now, one thing we would wanna do is we might wanna change our pipe type here so it's a different line pattern. So I'm gonna go ahead and tab and it will select all the piping to this point right here. And then I'm gonna change the pipe type. So I'm gonna to go to change type and I already have preset pipe types in my project. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the MEP vent PVC and it will automatically change it to that PVC pipe type and it'll also change the pattern of my line so I can tell the difference between my vent piping and my sanitary piping. So that's looking pretty good. Now again, if we want to go ahead and move this fixture, we can do it. We can literally just move the fixture over, just maybe to a point right there, and Revit will automatically move everything. It's kind of nice. So the last thing we might wanna do is we might wanna mirror all this piping and plumbing fixture over to the other side of the wall. So let's go ahead and select all of the stuff we wanna mirror. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna start doing a window selection from here. I'm gonna drag and we're gonna select all of that stuff. And then we're gonna to go to a floor plan. So I'm gonna to go to level one. And then I'm gonna mirror about the center of this wall. So I'm gonna click on mirror pick axis and we're gonna click the midpoint and boom, we automatically mirrored that stuff. I'm gonna go back to my 3D view 
And look at that, we already have everything looking pretty nice. So now I need to create a cross or double sand tee right here. To do that, I can just click on the fitting and then click this little plus and it will automatically make the fitting that I need. So that's really nice. Now I really need to make sure that the connection got made because just because I mirrored it doesn't mean the connection got made. So I need to go ahead and select it like that. And now you can see the connection is made and that looks perfect. So everything's looking great. So the last thing I wanna talk about is how I made that look so easy. So I'm not gonna lie guys, I've been working on creating these custom pipe types, creating these custom fixtures, creating all the visibilities for years. And I've basically created a whole template file for you guys so you can get it at mepguy.com and it basically has everything you'll need for plumbing inside this template file. So the last thing I wanna show you guys is how to make plumbing even faster inside of Revit. So basically, you can see I have all these assembly groups and what they are is pre-modeled stuff that comes up a lot of times inside of Revit. So we have this back-to-back -back lavatory already modeled so we can literally just copy it to the clipboard, go back to our project and we're in a floor plan view and we can simply just go ahead and paste it from the clipboard and we'll just paste it in somewhere. And then we can just, as it's selected, we can move it. So I'm gonna move it from this midpoint right here maybe to the middle of the wall. And look, we've essentially modeled that whole thing in a three seconds. So I'm gonna to go to my 3D view. You can see that we have everything modeled. Now if we wanna make a connection here, maybe we can just delete this right here. We can just bring this over and connect it just like that. And then we can connect it right here by just bringing this down and it automatically makes this fitting. We need to change this fitting though to a combo Y. So let's do that just like that. And then we need to go ahead and maybe combine these vents up. So let's just delete this piece right here. We use our trim extend command up here and we'll click these together and then boom, we are essentially done. So that's another fast way is using that template file so you can just copy and paste common plumbing layouts into your projects. Another thing we could do is we could like bring this vent piping down. So maybe we wanna bring it inside the wall maybe to like five feet and you could do something like that. But there's just, the possibilities are endless and essentially what I wanna show you guys is you can basically create your own template file like this, but obviously if you want to, you know, get mine, it comes with my Plumbing 101 and 201 courses, so you can get those at mepguy.com. I hope you guys learned a little bit from this, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. See you guys. Bye.